Hi guys, Garrett McKenzie with Garrett McKenzie Fishing here, and I'm going to tell you about something that is a hobby and passion of mine that I haven't told you that I do, and that is make my own fishing lures. Uh, you can see the board behind me is full of fishing lures. All of those are assembled or made from scratch by me, so let's get into it. Uh, one of the lures that I make is a chatterbait. Uh, these are one of the baits that I assemble. I do not uh, do the whole jig head melting process and painting because of time. But I do assemble them. So, there's one of the chatter baits. I also kind of have been messing around with uh, different crank baits. So, I made this. Uh, kind of red craw crankbait was kind of what I was going for here. It's got a metal diving lip with the split ring right here. And then I got some rattles. They're not the loudest rattles, but they're a good soft rattle. And then I also have made the swim bait, which actually does work pretty well. Uh, it was my first time trying to make a swim bait, so I think it went pretty well. Considering I made this totally from scratch, this was just a 3 or 4 inch piece of basswood that I carved down, uh, sawed with a hand saw. So, it's got some weights on the bottom to help it sink. Uh, another bait that I have made, and this is a bait that I tried to come up with, a bait that nobody else has out there th that I know of has been making these. Uh, it's kind of a idea design thing that I came up with myself. As far as I know, no one else has um, made these. Uh, what I call it is a, I call it a clothespin frog. It's kind of a frog-looking lure. And what I did is I took a clothespin... You can see that is a piece of clothespin. I took that, I cut it in half, and attached a twin tail on the back to give it legs for the action to make it look like it's a frog swimming. Uh, add some red. And I actually have cut a fish on this. Uh, I caught a three and a half pound bass. First time using this, which is actually my personal best so far for Nebraska. Uh, here in Nebraska, we don't have giants like they do down south, uh, so that is the biggest bass I've managed to catch, and I most of the time just fish local ponds, uh, haven't really fished big lakes as much, so that's also why my PB is three, three and a half pounds right now. So uh, I'll show you this real quick, some of the other lures I make, on top we have all the different uh, chatter baits on top. Down below, I have some of the bigger spinner baits that I make. Uh, below here, these are all the smaller spinner baits. Uh, down here, we have inline spinners. So, for your trout, crappie, bluegill, we'll eat those. Uh, here's another one of the wooden lures that I carved down and made from scratch. Kind of a shallow diver. Uh, like I said, those clothespin frogs is what I call them. Uh, make those and sell those too. And then I have some cork poppers for fly fishermen. Uh, and then down here these are our flies and our jigs down here. Pretty simple, but that's what I make. So, hope you guys found this video enjoyable. I uh, hope you guys obviously learned something that I, you learned that I make tackle now. So, I do not have an online store set up right now, uh, but I am working on that. You can go on and type in Gem Tackle on Facebook and find my Facebook page there which I'll post pictures of all the fish I catch on my lures 
uh, to there. I already have quite a few photos of fish there, so if you want to check that out. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Always helps. So uh, thanks for watching the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed.